नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो इन आवर टुडे हाईलाइट द वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम येस्टडे ओवर द ईस्ट सेंट्रल अरेबियन सी हैज इंटेंसिफाइड इन टू एन एक्सट्रीमली सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम बीपर जॉय एंड एट द सेम टाइम देर इज देर आर हीट वेव कंडीशन अंडर गोइंग ओवर द ओवर द मेन लैंड ऑफ द कंट्री स्पेशली ओवर ईस्ट इंडिया एंड पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ नॉर्थ पेनसुलर इंडिया and then uh, the the uh, southwest monsoon uh, uh, it has advanced over some parts of the country and is likely to advance further so first of all we will uh, look into the into the uh, extremely severe cyclonic storm viper joy uh, its uh, present condition and uh, the forecast so now currently the extremely severe cyclonic storm is over the over east central arabian sea uh, at uh, 3 uh, utc at 8:30 hours ist of today uh, near latitude 18 degree north and 67.6 degree of uh, east and which is uh, roughly about uh, 560 km west south uh, west uh, west of mumbai and 460 km south south west of uh, porbandar 510 km south south west of devbhumi dwarka and 600 km south south west of nalia of uh, saurashtra and kutch and uh, it is 770 km south of karachi pakistan this extremely severe cyclonic storm is uh, likely to move nearly northwards for some more time and thereafter it would start uh, moving uh, uh, north uh, north north eastward as we can see the uh, it's it's a uh, uh, movement in the north north eastward direction and is likely to cross uh, saurashtra uh, saurashtra and kutch coast and adjoining pakistan <clears throat> between mandavi of uh, mandavi of gujarat and karachi of pakistan as a very severe cyclonic storm as a very severe cyclonic storm with maximum sustained with the maximum sustained surface winds of the order of 120 to 130 kmph gusting to 150 kmph so uh, uh, under the influence of this uh, uh, very severe uh, very severe cyclonic storm uh, and its landfall as we can see over here that uh, the the heavy rainfall warning and the wind warning are uh, depicted in the, this uh, this slide as we can see over here that on 14th of uh, 14th of june the districts of uh, saurashtra and kutch the kutch district the district of morbi rajkot jamnagar devbhumi dwarka porbandar and, and junagadh are likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places and then on 15th uh, 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 which is the date of landfall of this uh, very severe cyclonic storm uh, between mandavi and karachi so uh, on on this date as we can see there is there is likelihood of heavy to very heavy rainfall at some places with with extremely heavy falls at isolated places over the district of kutch over the district of jamnagar over the district of devbhumi dwarka and over other districts of uh, of saurashtra that is morbi rajkot porbandar and junagad heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely and the remaining districts of uh, uh, saurashtra and kutch and of uh, gujarat region uh, right from banaskantha banaskantha and uh, uh, and patan up to up to somnath and uh, and veraval isolated heavy rainfall is likely on 15th of june and uh, 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 subsequently if we if we look into the wind warning then we can see over here that uh, on 14th of uh, on 14th of june over the district of kutch and uh, and the district of devbhumi dwarka there is likelihood of 55 to 65 gusting to 75 kmph uh, uh, wind likelihood over these districts and over the other uh, remaining districts of saurashtra right from uh, morbi uh, up to somnath veraval and junagadh including uh, including jamnagar rajkot the wind speed is uh, likely to be 40 to 50 kmph Gusting to 60 kmph, and over the remaining districts of uh, Saurashtra and Kutch and of Gujarat region, the wind speed is likely to be 30 to 40 kmph, gusting to 50 kmph. And then, if we come over to the main date, that is the date of landfall of the uh, uh, cyclonic storm Bipur Joy. So the wind speed would increase and become 125 to 135 kmph, gusting to one, uh, gusting to 150 kmph over over Kutch, over Devbhumi Dwarka, and over Jamnagar. 
and it would be 100 to 120 kmph over the district of uh, Morbi and uh, 90 to 100 kmph gusting to 110 kmph over the districts of uh, Rajkot and Porbandar and uh, the, over the remaining districts it would increase subsequently. Uh, uh, so now th this was all about the uh, landfall of the uh, uh, very severe cyclonic storm vapor joy over the over the Saurashtra and uh, also also this this cyclonic storm is likely to cause storm surge of the order of two to three meter above the astronomical tide over the districts of Devbhumi, Dwarka, Junagar, Jamnagar. Uh, Kutch, Kutch and Morbi uh, uh, and this 2 to 3 meter uh, storm surge would be above the astronomical tide and would it would inundate the low lying areas of these districts of Kutch, Devbhumi, Dwarka, Jamnagar, Morbi and, and Juna, Gad. So and uh, accordingly this is the uh, sea area warning uh, uh, depicted in the uh, graphic and uh, we can see over here that uh, the, the wind speed is accordingly uh, depicted according to the uh, legends given in this uh, given in this graphic. So now this was all about the uh, very severe cyclonic storm vapor joy and now we come over to the southwest monsoon. So the southwest monsoon has today uh, uh, <clears throat> advanced over some more parts of uh, uh, some more parts of Karnataka, some parts of uh, uh, Konkan and and uh, and some more parts of Tamil Nadu and some parts of uh, some parts of Andhra Pradesh as well. And now the northern limit of monsoon is today passing through Ratnagiri of uh, South Maharashtra and Hassan uh, Simoga Hassan of Karnataka and then Dharmapuri and then Sri Harikota and then the, this uh, monsoon line is going up to Dhubri of Assam Dhubri of Assam so the uh, monsoon uh, it has covered uh, these areas which has uh, which which has been shown by gray color and this monsoon is likely to uh, advance during next 48 hours into some more parts of uh, uh, some more parts of Maharashtra some more parts of Karnataka remaining parts of Tamil Nadu, some more parts of Andhra Pradesh and uh, remaining parts of uh, northeastern states that is Assam and Meghalaya and also some, some parts of uh, sub Himalayan West Bengal and Bihar during next 48 hours. And now if we come over to the heat wave conditions, uh, uh, then, then uh, the heat wave conditions is being realized over the, uh, over the parts of, uh, over the parts of uh, East India and, and uh, North Peninsular India uh, uh, continuously since uh, last two, three days. And these heat wave conditions are likely to continue during next, uh, during next uh, uh, three to four days. As we can see over here that the severity of the heat wave is likely to remain uh, high over over uh, north coastal Andhra Pradesh and over uh, interior parts of Tamil Nadu, and so accordingly, orange color has been given, and also heat wave conditions are likely over uh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh, and uh, uh, and Telangana and southern parts of Uttar Pradesh, especially the Bundelkhand region of uh, Uttar Pradesh and over Bihar, and it would continue till uh, till day three, that is over th uh, till uh, 13th of June, and from 14th of June there would be uh, some uh, uh, some decrease in the intensity of the heat wave and also South Haryana and Delhi are likely to uh, uh, observe the heat wave conditions during next uh, three days. So that was all about the uh, uh, five day weather warning. Tomorrow we'll again meet with Delhi weather briefing and weather warning for next five days. Thank you and goodbye.